Greetings guys, this is my usual night of telling you a Christmas tale. And this time it'll be Army. It'll be a Madeline story. Yes, Madeline, our favorite little girl who went her twelve with a friend to two straight lines. First of all, I put find it though. I have a huge book full of Madeline stories. I just try to find it because it's a bit of Here it is. Mad Lion's Christmas. In the old house in Paris, with covered in vines, the 12 little girls and two straight lions. They left the house at half past nine and two straight lions where the rain or shine. The smallest girl was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter and snow and ice. The tiger and the zoo Madeline said, poo poo. It was night before Christmas and all of the house was not to just turn. Not even a mouse. Well, like everyone in the house, with an old boy mouse was in bed in a miserable cold, and truly only one brave Madeline was not, was up and about and feeling just fine. Suddenly came a knock which made her pause. Could it be perhaps at the point? But no. The rug merchant was at the door. He had twelve bucks and he had no more. Why babes would be so neat for ice cold in one feet? It seems to me, said Miss Pillow, that you have chosen very wisely. And our brave little Madeline, without a rug that he had have sold, the rug merchant got off the coat. To sell my rugs was silly, but I can like your chili if you want to get them back to the coat. For wealth. He made it back to Madeline so she couldn't take one step more. A little Madeline set about to find a way to throw him out. Thaw him out, I mean. <laughs> the merchant, who was tall and thin, also a magical bravery for his medicine. The magician, as he took his pill, said, Ask me, Madeline, what won't you all put you in our nurse and will you please help me with the dishes? If you clear up, I'll go and see if I can find a Christmas tree. His magic green gave a glare, and when his vessel clearing, the very dish washed himself and jumped right back upon the stairs. And then, one more word, abacadabra, 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 of eight. Then, that made Madeline's carpet leave the ground, and twelve little girls were on their way to spread their parents on Christmas Day. Yes, even Madeline had a parent family that day. Miss Corbell began quite well the time to ring her bell, which quickly broke the magic spell. And now we're back to old twelve right here. Wish our friends a happy new year. Here. I hope you guys love enjoyed our little Christmas tale. Until the next time we meet, in that one there'll be a special treat for all of you. So have a good night and pleasant dreams.